This video demonstrates how to create a new Cradle database using the Project Manager tool. To create a new database you will need a title for the database, a unique four-character project code to identify this database, which schema to use to initialize the database, and where it will be stored. New databases are created from the Project Manager tool. This is accessed from the Cradle Program Group. When Project Manager starts, it searches for Cradle systems and attempts to connect to them. In this case, there is only one system. To make a new database, select Create Project. A database can contain one or more projects. Enter the title. Enter the four character project code. Choose a schema, a database structure, to initialize the database. We provide three schemas to choose from. You can add your own default schemas, which will appear in this list. For this example, choose the schema, empty. This schema has no content. Choose a directory to hold the database. The database is created in a subdirectory named from the project code. If your database is stored on a remote server, you must enter the path name manually. The database is created. Your web browser is open to show a summary of the new database. It contains no data. It has one default login account, the super user for this database. The username for this super user account is manager and the default password is also manager, in our case. Select exit from the file menu and close project manager. Start workbench and log into the new database using the super user login account created by the project manager. Be sure to use the project code for the new database. The database is empty. Only the predefined item types exist. There are no items of any of these types in the database. Our first task is to change the super user password. Select the project tab and select user setup. Enter a new password for the manager user into the two fields, then select apply and OK. The creation of the new database is complete, so return to the home tab and select exit to close workbench. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it has been helpful. For more information, please visit our website or contact us using the details on the screen.